actually, what I want you guys to do first is make a table of contents. So go to page number one of your next blank page, and uh, that is going to be this page, which you're going to call the Earth Cycles Table of Contents. And then pages two through four are going to be for the water cycle. Pages two through four are going to be for the um, water cycle, water cycle. Okay. Uh, as for announcements, guys, again, we've got the Unit 4 bulk cap, which should be posted. It's going to be due after the winter break. Uh, but again, if you get it done early, I could probably give you some bonus points to, to our grades as well for getting it done early. Uh, that is listed on Canvas. Any other missing work, guys, you must complete to get partial credit on that missing work. And then uh, don't forget, we will have a notebook check this Friday, which should be tomorrow. Uh, and we will have another unit quiz and another notebook check after winter break in January. So we've got to finish this semester strong. We've got to get our makeup work completed. We've got to uh, uh, put our best foot, our best foot forward as, as, as always. Uh, I'll go to page two now, guys. This is after we fill out the table of contents. Number one, which soil profile layer is also known as topsoil? This is going to be on page 21 from our most recent unit. Um, and then number two, what is the highest soil profile layer? And number three, how does a soil profile change the farther you go down? Let's go ahead and check those out. Pause the video, answer those, write those down. When you're ready, press play. Number one, guys, uh, the A horizon. Again, the A horizon has the plant roots. It has um, plant roots, guys, some of the worms, some of uh, things just below the surface. A horizon, number one. Number two, the very top horizon, which may get some people because a lot of people always assume it's A horizon. Uh, the top horizon is actually going to be the O horizon, the organic horizon, O horizon. And then number three, guys, the farther you go down, guys, the lighter the soil color is, the rockier the soil is, and the less nutrients it has. So again, lighter soil color, rockier, and less nutrients, because the farther you go down, the more, the more you'll hit the bedrock, okay? Less nutritious, and the lighter the soil color will be. It'll go from kind of like, kind of a darker brown soil color, and then it'll get to like a tan color all the way to a, uh, when it gets to those rocks. And we've seen this before already. No worries there, guys. Um, we'll get to a question later, guys. What I'm gonna have you do is now go to page three, and I want you to draw the water cycle, the water cycle. Okay, again, you're going to draw the water cycle. Okay, I'm going to expand my screen here so you guys can see this and maybe pause if you want to get it from me. But otherwise, I'm going to go to uh, Google Images and pull up a better version of it. So um, as you can see, what I want you guys to do on page, on page three, I want you to draw this right here. Draw this right here to the best of your abilities. Okay? So you can pause the video. You should be able to read all these. I'll zoom in a little bit. Pause and draw that. Pause and draw that. Because I'm probably going to want this for a notebook check, if I'm being honest. Okay? I'm being totally honest. So pause and draw what you see there. Okay? Um, so, uh, another example we could see online would be, um, let's see, pull up one that is similar. So, a lot of these are too simple. We need ones that are more detailed, like the one I showed you earlier. I think this one's a good one. Okay, and again, feel free to kind of draw it to your liking. This is probably the best one I've seen on here. Oh, hopefully it loads with all the detailed processes and, and so on and so forth. It's just taking time to load. It's the one I needed, but it's taking too much time to load. It's frustrating. It's just never going to load for us, guys, unfortunately. It's never going to clear out and give us, uh, ah, there we go. Let's try this now. I bet it'll load now. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, some of these you might need, some of these you won't. Um, but if we look here, again, draw what you saw earlier, but if not, draw what you see here. All right. 
Uh, you want to label have an ocean to the right, have a sun above that, uh, label that, and then we'll have clouds over here, uh, and then kind of a hillside, okay? And then you're going to have an underground section of that hillside as well. Okay, key things to know are evaporation, where water turns into a gas. And it's kind of, you know, some of you guys know a lot of this, but there are some details you may not know. Uh, we've got um, the condensation, where the water particles kind of condense into clouds. Uh, precipitation where the water where the clouds release that water onto the surface and then keep in mind guys we're also gonna have infiltration that is where the water enters the ground um, next we have groundwater flow where the water uh, kind of flows out back into the ocean from the ground um, one thing you might need to add that isn't here is called percolation p-e-r-c-o-l-a-t-i-o-n percolation that is going to be where the underground water collects before it flows out. And at surface, we have a river. Okay, make sure you label river here. Um, and then make sure you also label surface runoff, surface runoff, where we have uh, the water going into the ocean from the surface instead of underground where we have groundwater flow. Another one you might want to add as well is, is called accumulation. That's where water collects in rivers and lakes at the surface as well before it runs off into the ocean. So anything that is on here that I did not mention, do not write it and do not worry about it, okay? Uh, we've got some quick video questions, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Go ahead, guys. Uh, what percent of water is fresh water and where is most of it? And what factors influence the movement of water for number two? Okay, I'm gonna go and load that real quick. I'm gonna play it on mute because again, we don't have enough time to watch all of it. And we got to know what percent of water is fresh water versus salt water. We're talking about all the water on the earth. Okay. And uh, what you will find out through this NASA video, you know, and you're only going to need to watch the first like minute and a half, two minutes of this, is that um, water, guys. Okay, of all the water on Earth, only 3% of it is fresh water. 97% of it is salt water. Again, watch the rest of that video on your own to get, to get the rest of it. What I want you guys to do is now go to page four. You should already have your diagram. Okay. And I want you guys to um, title page four, water cycle notes. Title page four, water cycle notes, guys. Water cycle notes on page four. I'm gonna go through three, three slides with you today. Again, you should already have, uh, again, here's more pictures of processes if you wanna draw those as well. This should already be on page three though. This should already be on page three in groundwater flow percolation. This might be a better picture actually, this one right here. Evaporation, condensation is not labeled though. Okay, so just some good examples as well. Um, so we now know, okay, go ahead and write these guys. Again, you need, I know there's underlines here, but I need you to write all of these with the underlines on page four, on page four. Okay, so right on page four. Um, oceans cover nearly 71% of the ocean of the surface. So of all water, 97 is salt, 3% is fresh, but of all the earth with the land, 71% is water. So the earth is majority water, okay? And the majority of that is salt water, as we know, most of, um, very little of that is fresh water, but the little amounts of fresh water that we do have are going to be mostly frozen in the polar ice caps. That's a problem because those can melt and become salt water, okay? What do we call the gas form of water, guys? We're gonna call the gas form of water, water vapor. Water vapor, again, make sure to write all of this below. All of this, not just the yellow, all of it. Um, on page four, on page four, okay? Only 2% 2 of that fresh water, or, or two-thirds of that fresh water of that 3% is going to be the um, frozen ice caps. Um, but the, the water vapor, guys, that goes out of that, that is going to be in the form of fresh water in lakes, rivers, ponds, uh, and on the surface as aquifers. Last thing I want to show today, guys, is the water cycle. It's a continuous cycle. Again, make sure to write all of this, not just what's in yellow. Write all of it. Um, goes through living and non living things, goes through the soil. Um, again, go, uh, when we sweat, we release water back into the atmosphere. Okay. Key thing to write, as you know, water is recycled, but key thing here is that the sun is the primary source of energy 
That drives the water cycle, guys. The sun is the primary source of energy. That drives the water cycle. So go ahead and have that. That's it for today. Let's go ahead and see a quick card question before we call it a day here. Okay. So we have started page four, but we are not finished with page four, obviously. And when you see the card question, you guys can go ahead and answer that. And our question of the day includes, which of the following is correct regarding ROVs operated through a remote, operated by a pilot, operated through a cable, or operated without a cable? Pause video, answer it on your own. Play video, and the answer is going to be operated with a cable. Operated with a cable, guys. The wire connected to it is what tells you what it is. That is it for the day, guys. The bell is just rung. Mr. Campbell signing out. Get your notebook check finished for this week. Get those quizzes completed. Get any missing assignments completed. Mr. Campbell, signing.